Hello, you join me at Thorpe Park Resort for the VIP launch event of Hyperia. So let's get on with it. Roll titles. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time here and welcome back if it's not. And that's right, I'm at Thorpe Park and tonight is the VIP launch event of Hyperia. And it's Thursday the 23rd of May and tomorrow the ride opens officially to the public but we get a little go on it tonight which I'm very excited about. Now tomorrow is also the park's 45th birthday which is amazing. So anyway, we're going to head inside and uh, see what's happening and I'm going to bring you along with me so come along. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, we're inside and uh, Hyperi is running. Oh, I can't wait to go on it. It's so, so cool. It's really weird because the guests are leaving the park and we're going in and we're sort of getting looks like, what, what are you doing? But we're coming in. So uh, let's see what we can do once we're inside. It's time to go on Hyperia. They've just let us through, so uh, we're heading on over there now. Looks amazing. on it and it is bloody massive let's do it oh that looks 
amazing. So good to get up close to it now. Hyperia for the first time it was amazing it really does feel like it's going to throw you out of your seat it's a bit like Taron in that respect it gave me that sort of vibe that sort of whoa but yeah absolutely incredible and I'm so happy I've done it and I'm so thankful that I've done it so now I think we're going to go and see if we can get on some other rides and see what we could do so come on join me come on Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go this way. We are making our way over to Swarm Island now. It's really weird seeing the park this quiet, but uh, it's very nice. So yeah, there shouldn't be any queues for Swarm or anything like that. So we might, might get a couple of rides on that, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to peak too soon. I think I'm a little bit dehydrated. I need to wet my whistle. It genuinely feels like we've got the place to ourselves. Everyone's over 
at Hyperion, rightly so. But you know, it's just good to have a few rides on things without having to queue. And I can share it with you guys. Now, I will say something. You might have noticed some on-ride video footage and I'm recording that with my Meta Ray-Ban glasses. I think that's a bit of a grey area when it comes to ride recording because it is technically a camera but it is also my glasses and I can't see without them. So sunset is at nine o'clock tonight and it's 25 to eight at the moment but the sky looks gorgeous. They've really lucked out on the weather here. Oh, amazing. I'm just so happy. I love Thorpe Park at the best of times, but when it's empty like this, incredible. Yeah, we literally just walked on that ride, went straight on, amazing. And you know, you got to join me, which was awesome. Uh, we're gonna see if Stealth is running. I don't know whether it's not running or it's just very quiet, but I haven't actually seen anyone on it yet. We'll see. It appears Stealth is indeed open. There's just not enough people around to run it. So that's fine. Can have a quick go on that. I'm going to leave Vicky on camera duty for that because she's not going on it. So if it's really good camera work, give it a like. I love stealth so much. What we're going to do is going to go back to Hyperion because it shuts at nine and I want to get a few more rides in on that. So let's go back that way. Thank you. Actually, as we walk to Hyperia, I have to give it a really, really big shout out to Thorpe Park for inviting us. I've not done one of these press events for ages since I've had my back operation and it's so good to be back and doing them. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. perfect time to get back on Hyperia and hopefully it's got a shorter queue than it did earlier. We'll see.
<laughs> wow, Hyperia at night is a completely different beast. It's a shame that not many people will be able to experience it for, well, a good couple of months yet. But yes, very enjoyable. Now, we've got about 10 minutes left before the event closes. So I'm going to see if I can get on, I don't know, maybe stealth see if i can take you on we'll see okay let's see if we can get there before it closes oh, i really hope it's still open not long left the lights are still on so maybe that's a good sign i've had such a great night i'll tell you a bit more about it when uh, we finished on our last ride. Anyway, let's go do it. Hey, I want you to help these folks. You want to learn the secret of step. Okay. Now, I think I've made it just in time. Thank God. Amazing. I actually had two rides on stealth. The second was the last ride of the night and he did a blind launch, which um, I'll put the ride photo up now. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I didn't see it coming and it really made me laugh. That is our night done now. Well, mine's not. I've got to go home and edit this. So you're watching it soon. But I've had an incredible evening. Hyperia is possibly my favorite roller coaster in the UK. It is very, very good. And I really hope you all enjoy riding it. I'm sorry that this video has been a little bit all over the place because we have been a little bit all over the place and sort of been trying to have a fun evening but also bring you some content. But yeah, I really hope you like it. I'll put some more videos and stuff on my socials and do shorts and things because there's just so much footage I've got and I can't get all of it in this video. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway. I need to find my way home and uh, I'll bid you farewell. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now it's game over.